<clears throat> Hello and welcome to the next part of Warhammer 40k Inquisitor and Martyr segment plays. As we found out in the last episode, that there's still more to this game after the credits, so I felt curious enough to find out what's going on in this story, at least the main story, and uh, hopefully you are too. If you are no longer interested in following along with the story post-credits, um, that ended in the last episode. So thank you so much for um, either being interested to watch more or watching up until now. trying to flee the mayhem of your own doing? I am nothing but an observer of the unfolding tragedy. Stop speaking in riddles. What tragedy? The Harbinger was brought into existence for a reason. She is either the fall or the last hope of your misguided kind. Is she now? Tell me everything about the Alpha Pariah, or I will kill you. You have no sense of timing, human. We will meet again at a more suitable place and time. What in the name of the Emperor was that creature? An Eldar Harlequin. They are fierce warriors who turned war into an art form. They are agile, enigmatic, and fearsome enemies. Existence of your kind, Monkey, almost makes you interesting. I will not rest until I have secured the Imperial subject. Why? She is unnatural. She is everything we both consider repugnant. And that is totally irrelevant to the situation. Still, you don't need to be concerned about her. We will need her alive.
the memory crystal. It might contain new clues. Translation protocol epsilon 23 I'll like yes or whatever that word is. Pseudo neural translator translation protocol on the provided material executed raw transcription. Farseer Menrith is the greatest among he saw the abyss coming in the form of a monkey girl. He saw our salvation by stealing the future of those who stole our future. The victories of the Farseer are great against the fallen monkey and nightmares. And the servants of the beyond yet, my heart is heavy. Tothel is fading while we spend our efforts on fickle dreams, plus the monkey deserve our wrath, but the stars are not right. Conclusion Alpha The Eldar war host is led by an infinite Farseer. These Farseers act as augurs and seers for the Eldar race. Although a somewhat advanced civilization, they ought to I ostracize such superstitions. According to the Ordo Xenos records, Farseer Menrith led several successful campaigns in the past against chaos cults and tyranid infested planets. So far, he has widely evaded the wrath of the Imperium. Conclusion Beta Since the craft worlds are semi organic megastructures serving as habitat for the craft world Eldar, a major catastrophe occurring on the craft world could explain the sudden aggressiveness of the Xenos and their frustration about their exterminated planet. to do why have you come back for me i thought you had abandoned me i only left the martyr because i had no choice but the machine spirit reached out to me it is still protecting you and what if i want to stay here will you kill me then are you not even curious about what you really are don't you want to know what you could become that's all i've ever wanted but you didn't answer my question it was a foolish question, and you don't want to hear the answer. But follow me, and we may achieve great things. I'll go with you. I don't feel I have any choice, anyway. What happened to Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim? I... I don't know. Before we arrived here, there was a period of madness and nightmares. He was battling demons on the ship. Then he was gone. Or it was just a mad dream. He is still gone. Okay, by the sounds of it, we have the Alpha Pariah on our ship. So, if that stays permanent... That's that whole topic resolved. I think. But knowing this game, she could, like, escape and then it keeps on going or something.
Inquisitor Kraybart, you may be relieved to know that I have completed my mission without your assistance. We expected no less of you. However, I demand that you cease your involvement in this matter and place the martyr and that alpha pariah into Ordo Hereticus custody. I will do no such thing, Inquisitor Kraybart. I have started this investigation and I intend to finish it. Other Tiberius was a heretic. The martyr has clearly been a hotbed of heretical activity. This is Ordo Hereticus jurisdiction and we will purge every last hall of that accursed ship. The decks are swarming with daemons. Are you prepared to start a jurisdictional dispute with the Ordo Malaeus as well? I don't like your tone, Inquisitor. Not one bit. We could make a compromise. I can give up the investigation on the Martyr, but the Alpha subject is the most intriguing asset for the Imperium we've had. I must study her abilities. I usually don't compromise. But considering your stellar achievements in the fight against heresy, I am willing to make an exception. I sense a but coming. But we might need your help as well. A sudden outbreak of potentially chaos-related infestation on Cascadia Prime requires attention. We need our forces on the Martyr. If you are willing to investigate the infestation, you can take the Alpha subject with you. The Martyr cannot leave this system, though. I can accept that compromise. Then you put me in another prison cell. You are free to wander the vessel. Right, so I'm allowed to leave this ship, where everyone is horrified or disgusted by me for reasons I don't even understand. You are the subject of a highly classified inquisitorial investigation, and you must be kept under constant surveillance. So a prisoner? What have I done to deserve such fate? You have done nothing wrong. Yet. However, Tiberius abandoned you before you could perfect and expand your talents. Therefore, you pose a potential threat. I don't know anything about that. I just have this energy inside me, squeezing, stretching, sometimes snapping, and then bad things happen. Like when the martyr arrived at that fort. What happened? I was in a haze. I remember that the talking flesh servants on the walls were screaming at me to hide. But I couldn't, and those Elder came for me. Then I woke up properly, and made them hurt. We will study your abilities properly. I will make sure that you only use them when it is necessary. Okay, infestation or harbingers of heat. find out which one was which. Campaign Nurgle Demons. I defeated the Eldari intruders and rescued the Alpha Pariah. I also had to deal with the unexpected arrival of the Order of Hereticus Inquisitor. After a heated exchange, we made a deal. Then you can investigate the Martyr, and I will continue studying the abilities of the Alpha Pariah in exchange for a small favor. I need to purge the uh, potentially warp-related epidemic on the Hive World.
hopefully we can start getting some better gear, man. These upgrades are pretty weak. Thank goodness the shotgun um, has those uh, abilities on them. It makes it really overpowered. completed the preliminary tests on the samples from the Cascada Prime. The results are fascinating. Fascinating has different meanings for each of us. I will need more samples. The plague is clearly of warp origin, most probably caused by an as yet unrecorded pathogen. The infection is spreading like wildfire through the hive. The mutant scum and the treacherous cultists have already begun exploiting the situation, leading an open rebellion. According to Vox report, the local enforcers have been overwhelmed, but there is an operational Astra Militarum outpost in the vicinity. Affirmative. I will take over command. show large forces headed towards you. Is the local Vox station still operational? According to the readings, it is. I'll go there and call in reinforcements. By Hive Garrison, Cas Cascada PDF 24th Infantry Regiment to Planetary High Command, Cascada Prime. Message transmitted. Quarantine protocols breached in section 52323 and 22319. Uh, Magistrate Kuzinov reported growing violence on the lower levels. A connection to 12th and 3rd uh, Regiment served by angry mobs and repeated declaration of martial law. Message transmitted. Officio Medicaid requested reinforcements to the public infirmaries requested rejected by colonel armison due to manpower shortage non-combat losses increasing re requesting officio prefectus assistance to re to raise morale and use heavy weaponry authorized message trans message transmitted healed uh chirurgians Corinthians uh, reporting new symptoms, the ma ma uh, mu mutagenic nature of the Vindic Vindica Vindicta three strain is confirmed by Magos Aurelio Sigma six. Colonel Armisen diagnosed infected. Captain Cortain diagnosed infected. Captain Grenzen Mia plus requesting new command officer message trans transmitted override protocol kappa long chain of text magos aurelio sigma six claiming battle station Regis regiment rendered dysfunctional 
Extended Hive Quarantine Indicta 3 classified as Indigo Level Empyrean Pathogen Ordo Hereticus involvement strongly advised Presence of the ru uh, Ruinous Powers confirmed Source of infection located in the Underhive Triangulated Nucleus at Coordinate Longitudinal Captain Logren of the 12th Cascadian Regiment reporting for duty At ease, Captain I need an update on the situation in the Hive. It is really bad, Inquisitor. The Upper Hive has been overrun by these insane freaks. We have entire zones, dead and silent, that have entirely succumbed to this unholy plague. Gather your forces, Captain, and assist me. The Emperor will guide us through these tribulations, Captain. Ready to fight!
defense mechanism activated. Reloading. something that could tell me more about this plague. Our salvation is close. Seven times plus change is sweeping through the cursed manufacturers and the alleys of the Cascada like wildfire fire. Those fools still have hope in their sermons, but they are helpless against the holy necrosis of the plague lord. Some of you have already witnessed the might of our uh, humongous angels in the fortress precinct rest assured you can count on their help in the future but this battle is ours to win once we have broken free of the tyrannical clutches of the Imperium and smashed the hated, its hated idols they will walk among us freely and protect us from the vile Emperor but for now they must protect the architect as if as he is the key to the final victory do not rest and do not lose heart manipulate the fear of the uninitiated wreak havoc in the ranks of our enemies the battle for cascada prime will be difficult and most of us will perish in flames the servants of the false emperor will fight to their last cursed breath Cherish our reward, an existence without pain, fear, and the boundaries of a mortal body. The entity that orchestrated this outbreak might still be on this world. Perhaps you should evaluate the option to capture it alive, Inquisitor. Always on the hunt for forbidden knowledge, right, Magos? of this blasphemous plague. The Ephysio Medicae can deal with the survivors.
that's all she wrote. So the purpose of that mission was to purge this zone uh, with the Im Imperious Hereticus, who allowed me to study the Alpha Pariah, assuming I did them that favor. Uh, now it looks like that favor is t uh, dovetailing into another tangent of uh, discussion about somebody who's responsible for this plague outbreak being... Um, on another level of the city, essentially. So, um, as I would imagine, we'll probably get another mission to give more, uh, more flesh to this whole chain of events. Um, but we're seeing that things are just kind of jumping from one topic to the next a little bit. Yeah, I have to talk to this person before it opens up. We know that the Alpha Pariah has the unique ability to completely destroy daemons instead of simple banishment. But we have no idea how that works. True. The data we have on her abilities is scarce, and her previous encounter with a greater demon on the Martyr could be an anomaly. That is why I want her to join me on the chaos-infested world during my mission. Her powers could purge the infestation. You are experimenting with a live subject, Inquisitor. An idea worthy of a tech priest. Sometimes you need to resort to unorthodox methods, I suppose. I will prepare the Alpha subject and have the teleportarium ready when you call for her. Okay, and what's... oh. What's Harbinger's pain? That's probably the Eldar. The time has come for you to join me on a priority mission. It is time to test your abilities and determination. Before I say anything, what am I supposed to do? We will enter a hive in the thralls of a chaos infestation. I want you to employ your powers to put an end to that foul contamination. No! Absolutely not! I lived through that nightmare countless times. Walls thick with muck, the shambling shadows on the corridors, the growling of those creatures. No! Your fear of chaos is understandable, but you are far from defenseless. And this was not a request, by the way. Are you willing to kill me if I disobey? Or am I too valuable for that? Radical decision. The Alpha Pariah is a unique asset, so I must approach her very carefully. Her behavior is unacceptable, but maybe some tact would serve me more at the, at the moment. Puritan. Her fear is irrelevant. The needs of the Imperium are paramount. I must make her use her abilities, whatever it takes. Well, let's try by being nice to her. I would do anything in my power to save the Imperium from destruction. Would you? I would. But you must know that I am truly terrified. What if I lose control over my powers? You will not. This is why we need to test your abilities out there. You are right. I think. Yes. I will accompany you. Infestation. The epidemic turned out to be a mutagenic virus manufactured by a powerful chaos entity, which was a minor detail that my Ordo Hereticus brother forgot to mention. I eliminated the deranged mutants. But if I want to reach the source of the infestation, I must venture into the Underhive. The Alpha Pariah will accompany me. Her unique abilities may aid me greatly. Level 59, Nurgle.
Whoa, this is a new one. Like a creature like that, like even myself as a human being, I uh, you know, I produce dust for my uh, you know, you know, all its skin and hair and stuff. I'm like 150 pounds, I'm not slimy and things like it just makes me wonder, like, what would be the biomass repercussions of just having that thing around? Looks like it would probably leave a slime trail. where the plague originated. Beware, the sensors are indicating increasing warp activity in the area. Splendid. This Nurgle infestation is a gift that keeps on giving. In any case, it is the perfect opportunity to test the Alpha Pariah's unique abilities. I don't even know what I should do. Just do whatever you have already done several times when you try to protect yourself. Regarding your uncertainties, I wonder why Ultra Tiberius didn't train you properly. Ultra was a genius, but also a terrible mentor. If it helps, I incline to avoid you these days. It helps a little. Yes. to bring me here. Does it occur to you that maybe you are the one who should be afraid of me? Are you threatening me? I'm just pointing out the fact that I have no control over my abilities. That's all.
It is time. Unleash your powers on the Horde. Are you sure you want me to do this? This is your destiny. This is what you are. Should you fail to comply, you will probably die. It is... too much. I don't know if I can control it. Yes, I can do this. Perish! By the Emperor. Her powers are definitely growing, but she has no control over her abilities. Tech Priest, I need her back on the ship now. Experiencing recurring calibration problems. Warp anomalies combined with the subject's distortion field are hindering return teleportation. This location is extremely unsafe for her. Correct. Sensors indicate large hostile forces inbound. I need the Space Marine down here. You can send him down here, right? It was wise of you. No one will withstand my righteous fury. Try to keep your head clear, for Focus on the protection of the Alpha Pariah. Her survival is paramount. Rest assured, not a single abomination will live long enough to get to her. Tech Brace, why haven't you evacuated the Alpha Pariah yet? Teleportarium sequences. Chance of failure calculated unacceptable. Suggestion. Nullify the source of Imperium fluctuations. That is hardly a revelation. Find a solution. Chances of successful teleportation are currently at 95%. And what happens to the sergeant and the Alpha Pariah in the case of an unsuccessful teleport? Their physical bodies will disintegrate. Regarding the spiritual component, you can access reference material flagged as unconfirmed. If we lose the Pariah due to a faulty teleport, there will be consequences. Imperium is how imperfect you all are. 
This insight is a gift from our benefactor. Who would that be? Another pitiful traitor yearning for vengeance on his former kind? Alas, I cannot share his name with you, but rest assured, his genius will turn the Caligari Sector into the most beautiful garden of Nurgle. Not on my watch. I will burn out this rot with the sacred fire of the Emperor. Such fervor! A true pity that I must kill you so abruptly. Why not? Your flesh will spawn wonderful gifts for the Grandfather. observations on our architect with a heavy heart, and I must agree, his expertise in blessed hearts is outstanding, but his motivations are dubious, and, to say the least, even his chosen title streak of arrogance, vanity, architect, illuminator, I won't even mention the one we know best, since it's an insult to our lord, as an apothecary, he is entitled to a degree of arrogance. To agree once again, he isn't worthy of our trust, or trust and loyalty. That said, we cannot deny that he has held up his end of the bargain so far. The wondrous gift bestowed upon the undeserving cattle is a wondrous ode to the grandfather. The war band is growing in prestige, and once the nexus opens, this will be cornered in our false imperium. Turn into the most beautiful garden of plague. Regarding the second part of your message, spending so much time on the on his convoluted plan to capture an inquisitor is a waste of our efforts. This must once again stem from his obsession with Uther Tiberius and the uh, Anathema Ultima. I would prefer a more direct attack on the servants of the false emperor of the false emperor. There are certain merits to his more subtle approach. Follow his orders from now. Keep him alive until he perfects the seven times blessed formula. Wait until he returns the, uh, to the Maw of Madness. After that, we will discuss this matter. This is most disturbing. The entire epidemic was a ploy to lure Inquisitors here. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Defense mechanism activated. You abomination. I've been hunting your kind for a long time. But I never dared to hope that the Dark Gods would send me the one who has the Alpha Pariah. <laughs> Tell me, where is she now? I'd suggest you prepare for more disappointment, creature. The Anathema Ultima, the Alpha Subject. 
Call her whatever you want, but she is mine! I have been trying to reclaim my precious experiment. Since that perfidious Tiberius cheated her out of my hands! You might begin to see a pattern here. Oh no. I will take you alive, Inquisitor. We will experiment, you and I, to see where the threshold of suffering lies for you. Then you will be ready to denounce your master and beg for my forgiveness. <laughs> Fabius Vile! Your existence is a curse upon this world. Judgment will finally find you. Another Inquisitor? <laughs> this plan seems to be working splendidly, if I do say so myself. For your innumerable crimes, your sentence is death. Delivered here and now. You are wasting the dwindling resources of your pathetic Imperium. I am one of many. Even if you succeeded, you would accomplish nothing. But you won't. Lies upon lies. The judgment of the Emperor is upon you, heretic. Inquisitor, next time I expect you to bring what belongs to me. Until then... You set me up, Inquisitor. What's worse, you have risked an extremely important Imperial asset. I should bring this to the Conclave. Spare me the indignation. My order knew that Fabius Bile is here in the Caligari sector, and we have been hunting for that traitor for a very long time. And from your perspective, the demise of Bile is the ultimate priority. Obviously. Appreciate the irony, Inquisitor. Bile set a trap for us that we used to entrap Bile. And still, he escaped. I strongly advise that you refrain from using the Alpha Pariah as a bait in the future. Mm, okay, hopefully I can read this in time. Oh, it's a blueprint. Great. So, I'm gonna clip the episode. Um, if I can do finish my reading in time. So that the entity that started that um, epidemic would present themselves in the gate. Uh, they were almost defeated. Nice. Um, what else can be said? The uh, Imperium Hereticus is pretty shady. Uh, the Alpha Pariah almost died. Maybe that's who that's supposed to be. Maybe that's the Alpha Pariah. Um. Okay, well, I'm clipping it here before it has a chance to um, crash.